Hi everybody. Today is uh, Monday, January 16th, 2023. And I'm about to begin my day 12 application of Five Flora Uracell. Um, today was definitely, a, a, gosh, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I was dry. Um, this stuff was bugging me for sure. But um, overall, you can, you can see that I've got more redness. And when I show you my skin up close, uh, you will definitely see that there's redder areas, redder spots, but nothing too um, alarming yet outside of just feeling super, super dry, a little bit hot. And, um, you know, the same kind of areas that I've been showing you all along, um, you know, really didn't blossom into anything more and I absolutely know that I am putting enough cream on uh, at first I was kind of questioning myself and I am definitely putting enough cream on so I don't know maybe outside of you know having that Mohs surgery on that one spot on my nose maybe I'm just gonna get you know a light flare-up and um, you know hope that all those extra years of sunblock that I've been wearing as I've been getting older have really helped and paid off and all my oh my god so many hats I can't even tell you how many hats I have it's just terrible so <laughs> anyhow I'm not gonna bore you to death tonight uh, there is one thing that I do want to say though in yesterday's video I mentioned that this aquaphor chapstick type stuff for your lips I had been smearing all over the place and oh my God, it feels so good. I have to tell you, I really, really love it. And I had made the comment that Aquaphor, you need to make something like this in a stick. And I'll be dang, if I wasn't talking to my daughter yesterday on the phone on her way home from the hospital and she's like, mom, I think I saw a stick. And I'm like, no, there's no stick. So while she was on the phone, I looked up on Amazon and sure enough, brand spanking new, an aquaphor um, healing ointment stick. Now, let me just tell you, Amazon was the only place that had it and you couldn't get it until the middle of February. So I started Googling all our different pharmacies and lo and behold, I couldn't believe it. The, the Walgreens pharmacy nearest me actually had two of the sticks uh, for baby. And the ingredients were exactly the same. They were a little bit less expensive. It was a buy one, get one half off. And I had her run over there today and pick them up. And let me just unscrew this. And remember I said, wouldn't it be fantastic if it was like a deodorant and do that business? I am thrilled beyond belief. Now, mind you, I don't have any really serious eruptions on my face. And by now I have seen people um, in their different YouTube videos where they look just oh, not good. Um, very painful, oozy. I mean, it's almost like their whole face is just oh, sizzled. It's just, it's, it's scary. That I don't think would work for for you if that's the kind of situation you are going to be in. Um, however, you don't know, like me, I would have thought by now that I would have just looked like hamburger. So go figure. Who know? You know who knows what the next few days are going to bring. But that being said, I can use that tonight. Um, in fact. I can use it on my forehead, on my cheeks and whatnot. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble right in here on the harder areas, um, but I most definitely can can use that. But, um, you know, something to keep in mind. It's out there, it's available. Um, if not, just spend the money, get yourself a couple of those little jab sticks and, you know, use those. Uh, in addition to that, um, tonight, I probably am going to use the um, Aquaphor in the tub. I am feeling that much more dry. Uh, I did use Tylenol today twice. Not Tylenol, ibuprofen. 
Um, I did use it twice just to kind of keep that just, I don't know what the feeling is. It's like dry and hot. Um, that, that's the only way I can describe it right now. But um, that being said, let me show you my um, face and I'll let you get on with your day. So let me give you a close up so you can definitely see this added. I, I, I I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, it has to be weeping down onto my lips. And I find myself doing this a lot. And I've noticed it just in my talking. So um, I'm going to give you a little bit more close up of my nose. And I most definitely am getting on the phone with the dermatologist. We are expecting a huge snowstorm. And I was hoping that I might be able to get into him on Wednesday. But it's going to be a big snowstorm, 5 to 10 inches. So where he's located, I don't, I don't know. We'll just have to see. But this actually looks like it's getting bigger. It's very flat surface to the skin, very pink. It is not, it is not at all oozy or anything. So again, that popped up on day one. That is, I think, the one thing that I've been watching the closest this right here, when I when I really think back, this has been frozen a couple of times. I've had a couple of areas just kind of up in here where, you know, they've given me a quick freeze. I know that's been frozen probably twice. These two spots, which I don't know if you can even see them right here. Those have been frozen a couple of times. I'm not even as concerned about those as I am about that. Um... But, you know, I'm at this point, what I would consider pretty darn fair skinned and I'm in good light. I really am in good light. So I'm hoping you can see the redness. This is a little bit more red right there. I just tweezed some of my eyebrow right there, but we all know that that's been red, but I did just tweeze a couple of spots on my eyebrows. So, but I think tomorrow I may take just a quick video in the day, um, over by my patio window because outside of the redness, I just am just not seeing a whole bunch of anything, but tomorrow's another day. Who knows? So this is day 12, and I, I can't believe that I'm almost at day 14. I cannot believe it. So we'll see. I may just be brave and go to day 21, or I mean, I certainly am not going to do it without my doctor saying so, but so that's it. Anyhow, I want everybody to have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Please share. Um, you know, gosh, like I said in one of my other videos, I know that most of the reason you're probably watching a video is because you're facing this or you know someone that's facing this. But boy, it would, it would be so nice if, you know, there was one person out there that just was watching and or needs that... It, uh, just that motivation to stay out of the sun. So anyhow, have a good night.